the most affordable name brand radio with wired and wireless. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. To date, Pioneer has done it again with leading the pack when it comes to smartphone integration. The DMH-W2770 NEX and the 2700 NEX come in at a very affordable price of $430. Not bad. So let's break these radios down and see what other features they come with. What's up, it's Josh from Breaker Stereo and Performance. Welcome to the channel that reviews, demos, and even gives tutorials on everything in the aftermarket automotive world, like car audio, suspension, performance, and more, because we don't drive stock. So make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay on top of what's new in the auto aftermarket industry. Are the shortages finally over? Chip line fires, supply chain issues, a global pandemic. Are we finally over the hump? Man, I don't know. But Pioneer has released only two of their 7 Series head units since these issues, the DMH-1700 NEX and the 1770, along with the W2770 and the 2700. Okay, so we reviewed the 1770 a few months back, and now we'll be taking a look at the next step up in Pioneer's 7 Series head units in the NEX line. Now, the difference between the 2770 and the 2700 is the 2770 comes with a remote control and the 2700 does not. Also, the 2770 is reserved for Pioneer direct dealers only. Now, retail price for both of these units are $430. So in this video, we'll go over all the features, do an unboxing, a quick demo, and then we'll go through the pros and cons along with our overall rating. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about the features. This is a digital multimedia radio, AM FM tuner, no CD or DVD player. It has a 6.75 capacitive touchscreen, built-in Bluetooth for hands-free calling and music streaming, Plays media loaded with MP3, WMA, WAVE, and AAC music files, plus high-res WAVE and FLAC files. Now this is a double DIN radio, and smartphone features include wired and wireless, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. Now this will also do mirroring for iPhones and Androids through the web link, but you'll be limited on what you'll be able to watch. 13-band equalizer with five presets, high and low-pass filters, rear USB input, and rear aux input through a mini jack. You also have a rear view camera input. There is a video output, and the pre-outs are six channel, two volt, front, rear, and subwoofer. This also is Series XM compatible, tuner sold separately. Also steering wheel control compatible, adapter sold separately. And this is 14 watts times four RMS, 50 watts times four max, and comes with a one year warranty. Okay, let's do the unboxing. All right, so our aux input, this is your Series XM input wire rear view camera input along with your steering wheel control input main harness separate bluetooth mic all right so this is the 2770 so you are going to have the remote control again the 2700 will not have it but you can add it to it no problem rca pre-outs front rear and subwoofer usb extension hardware warranty card and instructions and this does come with a gps antenna so when you're using your smartphone for navigation It'll be more accurate with that. Not completely shallow amount. I would say it is, it's maybe about, I don't know, an inch shorter than a standard double din. Okay. Uh, usually shallow mount head units are going to be like around right here or so. So got more guts in here. All right. So we have our 6.75 capacitive touchscreen. There's some buttons here on the side. They're flush button, so you don't see any of the writing until this thing actually lights up. So on the back, we have our AM FM antenna input. Uh, this is for your GPS, microphone. All these cables are gonna be for your ins and outs, for your audio, video options, main plug, and then your USB input. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this. I did the wireless Apple CarPlay first uh, to see how it actually hooked up. So basically, it was a little tougher than some of the other radios that are out there. But it's still pretty easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your menu here, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and go to your Wi-Fi settings. 
All right, and then just, you know, on your phone, obviously, you know, go to your Wi-Fi settings, make sure that you're on that network, the DMH-W2770NEX, and then your password's here on the bottom, okay? So just make sure you have that, and then your Bluetooth, pretty much good to go, and then it'll hook up. So that's that. If it doesn't work the first time, then I recommend resetting the radio, or just pulling the key out, and then turning the radio back on. So if you have any problems hooking up CarPlay, just go through those steps and you should be okay. All right, so let's just go ahead and take a look at the radio in general. This is our main screen here. We have our radio, CarPlay, Android Auto, USB, iPod, Series XM, Bluetooth audio and phone. If we scroll here, we have our aux camera view. We have mirroring, okay, so the mirroring is gonna be for Android mirroring. And we use WebLink with our iPhone. And I'll show you how that works here in a little bit, but just kind of right off the bat, you can kind of tell it is a little laggy manageable, but it's not as nice as some of the higher end units. All right, you guys already know how CarPlay works. You have your apps here, navigation apps like Apple Maps, Google Maps, also Waze if you like Waze, and then messaging apps like Telegram, WhatsApp, and then obviously your standard messaging here. Most of you guys are already familiar. If you wanna go back to the Pioneer menu, just simply tap the NEX Pioneer here, and that takes us back here. Let's go to the menu really quick. So on settings, we have system settings. Where you can set your language, beep tone, Things of that nature, display and settings. All right, you have your illumination here. You also have your wallpaper, so you can select between those five wallpapers. Uh, illumination, you can also pick the illumination buttons you want here, red, blue, green, so forth. Let's just select blue. And then let's go ahead and go into audio and EQ settings. We do have a preset EQ here, powerful, super bass, natural, and then custom. And then if you wanna just adjust it here, you know, you got your your bands, you can adjust all that from here, and that's a graphic EQ. Next, we have our fender bounce, easy stuff, and then subwoofer level, you can turn that on. Also, your crossovers. So not exactly the same software that you see in some of the other NEX radios, because in some of the other NEX radios, you can pick your frequency, and then you can also pick the slope. So on this one, as you can see, there is no slope, all right? Uh, but you still have that crossover. I'm gonna guess that it's a 12 dB crossover across the board, and maybe an 18 on the subwoofer, but I don't have that information here. Your volume for each source, you do have speaker level. This is a nice feature. So from here, you can adjust the speaker volume or dB decibel, either in the positive or the negative. Uh, does not have time alignment. You do have your bass boost here, all right. So that's kind of a bummer, doesn't have time alignment. Wi-Fi settings, all right, we kind of talked about that already. Bluetooth settings, pretty straightforward. Camera settings, so on this one, we only have a rear view camera, and you can set it to either normal or reverse, you can adjust the parking guidelines, and then you can also select brightness, contrast, and color on the camera. Okay, so let's talk about WebLink. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the iPhone, and the WebLink will not work wirelessly. You do have to hook that up through the USB. Okay, we're gonna switch it over. Then you do have to have the WebLink app downloaded on your phone. All right, so it's giving us caution. Basically saying apply, release, and reapply the brake. Parking brake we have hooked up to ground right now, so I'm gonna just Disconnect it and hook it back up and that should allow it to unlock. All right, there we go. All right, and then obviously here you can go to, you know, video player. So if you have uh, videos on your phone, you can play videos through that. Picture's pretty good. I mean, it's 800 by 480, so it's, you know, not the greatest, but again, it's a small screen. All right, let's go back. And then obviously you can do things like YouTube, but you're pretty limited to that. You're not gonna have Hulu or Netflix or anything like that that you're gonna be able to use a web link with, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and go back. Here's Android Auto. All right, so I'll just disconnect that. Android Auto, it's gonna take a second here. All right, so there is our Android Auto menu. As you can see, we have Google Maps, and then our applications are gonna be here, okay? All right, pretty straightforward stuff. Let's go back. Let's take a look at mirroring. All right, so we're gonna disconnect the Android Auto. So functioning through Android Auto and the mirroring features and the WebLink features are pretty flawless. So that's nice. Sometimes you can run into hiccups, but we don't seem to be running into hiccups right now. As you can see, I plugged it right in. We're good to go. And now we're mirroring and let's give it a shot. I don't know if it'll play Netflix. Um, so let's see here if it'll play. All right, so I didn't think so. So we're not gonna be able to play Netflix. This does have a video input, so if you absolutely needed to have that, then you would go composite to HDMI, and then you would go HDMI to either your USB-C or your Apple uh, Lightning cable, okay? All right, so that will conclude the demo. Okay, pros and cons, starting with the pros. The 13-band EQ, Android mirroring, 
Weblink, and of course, Wireless, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. Now cons. Now it would have been nice to have things like HDMI input, iDataLink compatible, but I would not expect those features at a radio priced at this level. But I think they should have put a four volt pre-out versus the two volt pre-out. And I believe it should have had the better NEX software. Its predecessor to this model, the 2660, had the same software as the higher end radios. So I was expecting that. This radio has the same software as the lower model, 1770. All I can say is this, Pioneer, please hurry up with the W4770 NEX. I'm expecting that radio to have all the bells and whistles. But nevertheless, for 430 bucks, this is not bad for wireless smartphone integration. We're gonna give this radio four stars. It's a great value for the price. If you're interested in this radio, there's a link in the description below, taking you directly to the product page. Remember, we do have financing available. Simply add to cart, pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send your gear out to you ASAP. Okay, this is Josh from Breaker Stereo and Performance. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time. Peace.